Now, a method that I like to use for digging a hole, I call it the cookie cutter method. The morning began with a demonstration as staff from Credit Valley Conservation showed close to 50 volunteers how to plant trees and shrubs. There were about 150 waiting to go into the ground. All of them are species that are native to the area. A lot of our common trees that we'll plant, we've got silver maples, sugar maples, cedars, and in terms of shrubs, we'll do dogwoods, service berries, a whole bunch of different types of trees and shrubs. This is also part of the Hungry Hollow Sustainable Neighborhood Action Program, which is trying to achieve a balance between the neighborhood and nature. Hong says it's been ongoing for about three years and will likely last five to ten years. The entirety of the SNAP project, we've got 28 actions that we're working towards, and those were all chosen and by the community. And we really worked with the community and the town to, to select those actions and really find out what people wanted to happen in this neighborhood. According to the CVC website, some of those actions include stewardship of natural areas, enhancements in the public realm, sustainable actions on private properties, and robust community engagement. The community certainly came out on Sunday many taking the opportunity to spend some quality family time together and teach kids about the environment. We always wanted to teach her uh, about nature. We try to take her on walks and everything else. Uh, but when this opportunity came out, my, my wife spotted and, and she said, why not join them to, to plant some trees? came out here also because like, it's good for the environment. Um, each tree here is, like, gives animals food, a habitat, and it's good. it gives, provides oxygen, right? and goes for climate change. Sometimes my older son shares that he has concerns. He obviously hears things at school and watches things on TV that makes him worry about um, our planet. So I think it's important for us to teach them that there, we can all do our part. This event also gets trees for Halton Hills just a little closer to their goal of planting 65,000 trees. That's only going to happen if grassroots movement takes uh, place and people really understand they all have to jump into this thing. To find out what other events there are for Earth Week in Halton Hills, visit the town's website. Jason Trout for Halton News in Halton Hills.